Okay, before I share my reasons why I did the switch, let's find out what Google knows about these two services. Hey Google, what is Gomo's Singtel? Here's a summary from the website straightsteins.com. Singtel launches all digital contract free mobile plan targeted at millennials. Called GOMO, an acronym for Get Out More Often, the plan offers 20 gigabytes of mobile data and 200 minutes local talk time for $20 a month. Hey Google, what is Giga by Starhub? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, what is Giga Starhub? Here's a summary from the website hardwarezone.com.sg. Edit 1805, an earlier version of this article incorrectly identified Giga as an MVNO. It is an independent sub-brand created by Starhub to capture the market space that MVNOs operate in. So basically Giga, uh, Giga came to the scene last, just a few days ago and they're offering 25 gig at $25. On top of that, they, they are throwing in 1000 SMS 1,000 call time minutes, free call ID, that is also similar to uh, GOMO. But what stands out for me is the international roaming, it's free. Okay, let me turn off Google for a while. The mic's off. Thank you. Okay, so firstly, Singtel Gomo does not offer international roaming. That is shocking, right? So the story began a few days before I was due to leave my trip. I called up, um, I can't talk, you can't call them, sorry. I contacted Gomo on their app, one of the chat agents, um, and uh, asked them to activate my international roaming. Little did I realize that there is no international roaming available on Gomo Singtel. And uh, to that, the agent, the chat agent told me all the details on the uh, FAQ on the Gomo website. I mean, who reads the FAQ? I believe I did when I before I first purchased the service, but I don't remember reading about, seriously, I don't remember reading about uh, that international roaming is not available. But of course, to uh, make things um, better, the agent did mention that we are working on it a couple of times. So that's the first reason Gomo doesn't activate international roaming, or rather it does not offer international roaming. Now what problem does that create for me? All right, I'm going on a trip. Imagine if you're going on a trip for more than like two weeks. Okay, or any business trip and uh, you have to do your online transactions you have to book accommodations along the way that means that you need to receive SMS's from your bank from your credit card company uh, the SMS OTP for security reasons security verifications now you can't get those and I'm this line, this GOMO line was my only line that I have. Imagine that I cannot roam internationally uh, and I cannot receive SMS OTP, which means I cannot book my accommodation, I cannot do my banking transactions on the go. Oh, that really sucks. So, reason number one why I ditched GOMO, it does not offer international roaming which is totally ridiculous. Okay, here's the second reason why I ditched GOMO by Singtel to take out Giga by Starhub. Now, this might surprise some of you again. GOMO does not allow you to call 1-800 numbers. I was... Wow! So I had to call my bank, right? Um, to find out on the, of course the uh, toll free number 1-800 and followed by the local number so I, I realized I could not get through I tried and tried a couple of times and, um, and then I picked up my deck phone at home to call the number instead and of course I got through 
So I went online and I checked. Uh, wow. Yeah. I don't know where I saw this, but um, yep. Como Sipai Singtel does not allow you to call 1 800 numbers. Why? Why? <sighs> this is reason number three why I took up Giga by Starhub and ditched Gomo by Singtel. Okay, look at the services provided. Gomo offers 20 gig at data at $20. Giga offers 25 gig at $25. Gomo offers 200 call time. Giga, 1000 minutes. Gomo, 200 SMS. Giga, 1000 SMS. Okay, both services, uh, they offer free call ID. That's almost standard now. Um, however, as mentioned before, Gomo does not do international roaming. Not at all, and they are working on it. Starhub. Thank you, Starhub. They offer free international roaming. But of course, if you want data, you've got to purchase it di directly through the app. So that's very clear cut for me. You get more uh, goodies on Giga. And thus, uh, I decided enough, I need to travel, I need international roaming, I need to receive my SMS OTP. So, bye Gomo. Hello Giga. But there's more. Okay, just take a look at the packaging. The big yellow cardboard envelope by Gomo versus the tiny envelope by Starhub Giga. Check out the difference. Okay, talk about being environmental. It does not end there. Inside Gomo's packaging, you have two right and actually it's three three again hard cardboard packaging um, I think the other one is missing right imagine the environmental just think environmental think about saving the environment saving trees Romo Intel I think you've got lots to improve on here okay, let's talk about the after sales service right you know how long it takes for Singtel to activate the GOMO card? I think when I went to the GOMO website on Facebook, there were many complaints from users that Singtel took forever. Number one, there were many delays in delivery. Um, number two, it took forever for the GOMO SIM card to be activated. In fact, for me, when I switched from another telco to GOMO, one and a half months ago, I had to wait like three to four working days. And on the final day, I was without any telco line, which means I could not call out, I could not receive any message. And this is despite me um, trying to mess, I had message Gomo agent every day to find out, hey, when, you, when are you guys activating? Why is it taking so long? And on the last day, I had to depend on my Wi Fi. To communicate with them because I just had no line at all. I had no line almost for an entire day. Now, how is Starhub doing in this area? Um, I remember switching from Starhub previously to another telco. It took only one working day to activate their SIM card. This was on another plan. And this time around, um, I want to I want to find out if this is still this consistent. Well, guess how long it took for the Giga line to be up and running? First of all, Starhub, they provide you with a temporary line while you wait for the porting process to be complete. So, in, during the interim yesterday, I had two lines. One running at 20 gig, the other one running at 25 gig. Uh, because Starhub provided a temporary, temporary phone number. That's wonderful, right? You don't have to wait for porting, you know? And you don't have to like hang in limbo and uh, shoot the uh, telco 
take forever to port over to a new line. Now, GoMo by Singtel unfortunately does not provide a temporary line, thus the issue faced by so many um, and the, 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 their complaints um, online. So Starhub, this time round on Giga, took only one working day. And as of this morning, I found out that uh, the Singtel line has been cut. Whether they are so terribly efficient cutting it off, or that GoMo, uh, sorry, or that Giga, as promised by the agent, and online, on their info, on their website, they say it takes only one working day to get things running, and one working day to port the previous number from a previous telco over to their StarHub line on Giga. And true enough, I'm running on Giga right now. I'm happy and it gets me free international roaming, more call time, more SMSs, more gigabytes. I'll buy it at $5 more, but what the heck. I'm terribly, terribly, terribly disappointed with Singtel all over again. This is not my first bad experience, not my second. I mean, let's face it. I don't understand why it takes more than three working days or three working days for the number to be poured over. Singtel is the first telco in Singapore. Singtel is the biggest telco in Singapore. It has the biggest customer base. I believe that is still so. And um, I'm sure being the largest organization, largest telco, you have a bigger workforce. You have more employees. Why does it take more than one working day to port my number over? It just does not make sense. And your after sales service is just terrible compared to M1 or Starhub. Yeah, I've been with the, t the other two telcos with M1 included. And I find that the after sales service is so much better than Singtel. So I'm making this video just to share my experience and why what led me to switch from Gomo to woo, Giga Starhub. I'm a happy man now and I can travel with peace of mind. Thank you for watching this. Um, like, share. I hope uh, this helps you decide which to choose. Uh, if you, in this modern time and age uh, in Singapore where the telco competition is so, 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 so stiff, you know, why, why sign up for a contract line? Go SIM only line. It's, you don't get a contract, you can switch anytime and the telcos are fighting out among themselves and there's a new telco coming up. So yeah, go contract free, go contract free, try out Giga, it's been amazing so far. Bye.